Pew! Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Steve from The Checkpoint and welcome to Starbound. People have been wanting me to play this game for so long now, ever since I really started No Man's Sky content. And given the situation of No Man's Sky at the minute, I thought it'd be cool to finally introduce it to the channel, you know, get it going. So today we are going to be playing some Starbound, just playing through it. I know we're hot off the heels of like a new update for Starbound and I realise that this game is pretty old, but hopefully you guys will enjoy. If you do, smash that like button. Let's get Right, boys let's start the game we're just gonna be doing a basic survival thing I've never played this game before I've tested it out see if I could record it and stuff and it all runs smoothly so let's see how we do so create character right what have we got going on here sir we've got a bunch of different species up here uh, so this is a human. In spite of their long and turbulent history, humans tend to possess a light-hearted and optimistic outlook towards life and the universe. Humanity set about forming a society that would unite the people of the universe. The Terrain Protectorate. So I guess that means, like, terrain protectors? Like, protecting planets and stuff, I hope? I don't know. Uh, whoa! Oh my god, it's like a bird! That's amazing! That's awesome, sure clothing. Oh god, that bite m might be a little bit not safe for work right now. If you're under the age of uh, 18 in whatever country you're in, please turn away right now. We don't want you to see any uh, adult content on the checkpoint right here. We don't want to, you know, show anything that's, that's too rude. Uh, but let's put the clothes back on. Okay, so the Avians are a race of colourful bird folk whose tribal culture revolves around the worship of Cluex, the winged god of the ether. The soldiers are trained from birth to be fierce warriors who, who will protect their temples at any cost. Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the bird so far. We've got like a monkey or an apex, they're called. A race of highly intelligent primates. Uh, that's all good. What is this? Is that, that's like a, a flower people? Like a, a, a plant? I don't want to be a damn plant. Who, who'd want to be a plant? Who goes into a space exploration game and just thinks, you know what, I want to be a, a, a fucking flower? Who who goes out there and thinks that? God, I know I said um, you don't want to be looking at adult content or hearing adult content, and I just swore, so I'm kind of contradicting myself there. Anyway, so this is the he he little he 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 little that really rolls off the tongue guys that, that's really good uh good job devs for making a race that really just just rolls off the tongue really well uh the glitch who are robots hot damn and nova kids um god i don't know well first of all we want to be a, a dude because i'm a dude in real life so as you can probably tell uh we could be a human we could be a bird i'd like to be a bird i think i don't want to be a monkey it's either bird or humans. So what are these Nerva kids that are like gas heads? That's weird. Or should we be a robot? Um, does this actually change anything or is, or is it just like... Oh my god, look at the gender things. You can either be... That's amazing. You can either be the plug or the thing to be... The, the socket. That's uh, that's an innuendo for vagina and penis. Um, Who do I want to go for? Oh uh, wow. Uh, I think I'm going to be a bird. I think I want to be a bird. Let's just change the colours a bit. Uh, could be a red bird. Plumage. Um, damn. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, I don't know. They, they all look so stylish. I like that one. That's kind of like a traditional type of thing. Beak. Do you want a small beak? A big beak? Uh, I'm just clicking along until I see something that catches my eye. Let's try that. Let's try that. Uh, fluff. The fluff! Look at the fluff there. Um, we want a little bit of fluff, right? We don't want to be, like, completely red. That, that just looks strange. Um, I kind of like that thing. I like that one. Shirt. Uh, oh, look at that. We've got, like, a little crop top. We look like a slut. <laughs> not, not like, dressing in a certain way makes you a slut or anything. <laughs> oh, wow. We're already, we're, like, five minutes into this Let's Play, and I'm already putting some controversial stuff out there. There's a nice shirt there. Can we make it look like like the checkpoint colour? No, it kind of doesn't work with the the red there. Let's go with that. Leg wear. Oh my god, is that... Are these loincloths? Oh my god. I'd, I'd wear a loincloth. Should we wear a loincloth? Like a... I was like a skirt. I don't know. Let's, let's just go with the normal pants. Um... Sure, that colour's as good as any. Personality. Is there one for, like, sarcastic asshole? Because that would match me perfectly. Oh, no, it's just, like, the swag we've got on. Look at this swag. Look at this dance we're doing. Oh, he's loving that. He is loving that. 
Um, I guess that he's pretty chill. Name, right? Um, damn. What what what, what do we what do we call our, our dude here? Well, he is he is a bird. Um, so let's see. Um, damn. Uh, check. Parrot. Nah. Um, Steve. I mean, you know, it's very basic, and it is me, but maybe we should just go for Steve. I'm trying to think, there might be something that pops into my head that's just amazing, but it's just, it's just not coming to me right now. It's just not coming to me. Um, Steve, we'll go with Steve. We'll keep it basic. Let's go. Right, sir, right into the survival mode. Let's do this. Loading screens. Here we go. Wake up. Ah, uh, wake up. You have overslept. Wow, this this is like every morning for me. This is actually a really good interpretation of my life. Oh my god, look at us. We're like snoozing there. That's amazing. What have we got? We've got some stuff on the shelves over there. There's like a turtle. There's like a poster of a UFO. There's a guitar over there. Good morning, graduate. You have to, uh, uh of course. Hey, there I am. Hey, I, th I think I look pretty fly, if you pardon the pun. To interact with a nearby person, door, or other objects, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E if you are awake enough to do so. Alright, okay. Calm down, I've just woken up. No need for this sass. I've literally- I've gone straight back to sleep. <laughs> this is just the game. You just get up and then slowly walk over to the next bed to sleep for another 12 hours, and then you just walk over to the next one. Can we play the guitar? No. What's all this stuff up here? That's cool, whatever that is. Ah, uh, it's- it's stopped. Can we mess around with a hula girl? Can we- Mess around with the lava lamp, there's a toilet over there. Remember, you can open a- yeah, yeah, I, I got that, I got that. Oh my god! This is groundbreaking. I'm in love, I'm in love already. Can I mess around with a sink? No, it's just, just the toilet, I like teleport there from the other side of the room. Alright, no more fooling around, there's a radio there. Oh, wow. So this game has elements of like Minecraft and Terraria, but a bit of space exploration. Ex what? What did I just say? A bit of space exploration involved. So that's right. It's quite cool in that regard. Uh, uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. Okay. This must be my personal locker. It's the only one like decorated here. Look at this guy. Nah, fuck off. I've just got to get my my uniform first. All right. Um, chestware. Okay, so I guess we put that where the. Share is, and then drop this here? Wait, where's my... Did I not have some other stuff? I thought I had like something else there, no? I thought there was like some pants I had to put on. Or am I just imagining things? Maybe I'm just imagining things. Uh, hold on, let's... Go out and go back in. Oh, wait, no, they're over here. Why is it over there now? Oh, you can move it around, sweet. Okay, um... So we want these... Okay, uh, take all. Here we go. Damn, what am I doing? Uh, protectorate trousers, there we go. Looking pretty slick, looking pretty slick, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we've got graduation flyer, we also have some pixels wherever they went. Are they around here somewhere? I don't know. Okay. Uh, should we chat to this guy? Sure. Soon you'll be a real protector with your very own matter manipulator. Must be exciting! I have no idea what a matter manipulator is, so uh, I'm just gonna ignore you. I'm just walking by like blank faced, that's amazing. There's an Apex dude here, just enjoying his lunch. Off to a bit of a late start, aren't you, Steve? Oh, fuck off, dude. Go away. I said go away and I sit across the table from him. There's a TV up there. Sorry, I get so distracted when I play games for the first time. Uh, Welcome to the Terrain pr Protectorate. Talk to me for your handy tips. Thank you. S scan mode, inspect objects, control to move your camera around, tap again to reset it. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So, there we go. Uh, what was that, scan mode? What did he say scan mode was? Um, yeah, yeah. S to crouch, Q to drop your current item. Where's the scan mode? That's what I want. Enter toggle scan mode. Oh, in inspect. Oh my god, I've got a little magnifying glass. Look at this. Look at this windmill I'm doing. Uh, what can I inspect? We can borrow books from here. Well, that's pretty cool. 
that's pretty cool that like most of this stuff isn't real is like kind of interactable with a fire extinguisher even if it's just saying a fire extinguisher it's still pretty cool how do i put this thing away can i not get out of this mode um there we go so that seems to be like my hot bar up there that's pretty cool uh let's go across here Look at that lovely pixel art landscape. Nice, nice. I, I enjoy this. I enjoy this. Some birds up there. Hello, they're like my family. They've come to watch my graduation or whatever it is I'm going to. Weary, every day, more petals to sweep. All right, Jesus Christ. Frustrated, they have me sweeping the bridge every hour like I'm a machine or something. I'm pretty sure you you are a machine. Um, God, so many complainers. You can just sit next to this dude. We can talk to this dude. Sit with me and let us... No, fuck off. You coming on to me, dude? Jesus Christ, there's a lady there. You're really cutting it close. Fuck off. Jesus, why is everyone on my back? Look at all these dudes up here. These must be like the new, or the old um, superintendents of the school, or the head teachers. Oh, cutscene. My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years, we have stood proud here on Earth. I don't know why she speaks so epically when she's like a haggard old woman. Drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Our task, to protect our fellow beings, to support house and educate those that seek our aid, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots and present them each with our greatest tool. The Matter Manipulator! Huh? What was that? Her voice changed at the last second. Oh, it's fucking, it's Cthulhu. Whoa, whoa, what the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bing. You, graduate, take the matter minute. Oh, okay. It just, <laughs> didn't get to read that. Okay, uh, give me that. Matter manipulator. Awesome. Oh, we got a, what, a pickaxe? That's pretty cool. All right, let's keep moving along. We can jump as well. Which is always great. Um, wow. That Cthulhu thing really fucked everything up here. Uh, it appears the ceiling has collapsed. The mana- the, 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 the what? The manata? The matter manipulator can be used to clear the stair. Press the R key to equip it. Bam! R key! Uh, then click on the pile of dirt. Hey, here we go. So let's get through this stuff. Get through all this. The ceiling has collapsed. Not good, obviously. I hope my uh, family, my bird friends are okay. Yes, I'm, I'm doing it, Mr. Orange Man. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's just sit on this bench just work while all this chaos is going on around us. Okay, uh, through here. Scan show the room beyond this door has flooded. Well, scan's not real. I can, I, I can like, see it there. It would be best not to go in. I advise you find a way over it. Use space bar to jump to higher platforms. Roof access? Hey, there we go. There we go, using my intuition. Damn straight. The scale of the disaster is immeasurable. The destruction of Karen is beyond my capacity to quantify. You must leave this planet immediately. Bit dramatic there. A little bit dramatic. If something goes wrong, you don't like, you know, you're not like, uh, leave the planet. I mean, if I miss my bus on the way to uni, I'm not like, oh God, better leave the planet. Better hop in my spaceship. Oh, uh, what? Do I go this way? Or do I sneak through here? Or do I jump this way? Is there anything over this way? No, of course there isn't. Of course there isn't. Uh, I guess we're going down then. Sod block. Hot damn. Uh, can we crouch through here? No. Not quite. We are three there. Here we go. Cargo hold. The chest sitting on that conveyor belt should contain some kind of weapon. Please arm yourself. Uh, what have we got? A broadsword? And some pixels. Let's take all that shit. How do I arm myself? Do I put it in some, like... Back armor? No. Chest cosmetic? No. Uh... What I put here? Oh, access a weapon with ease by placing the action bar slops. Oh, at the top of the screen. Okay, um... There. Sweet. So how do I access that? Do I just click on it? Wow, I've got it. Okay, I'm just gonna... So you can either swap with like R, or I saw L. No, no, I don't know what that is. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on it for now until I until I realize what you have to do. Okay, can we slay Cthulhu? No, I bet we can slay this Cthulhu thing there. Oh wow, we're hacking and slashing. Nice. All right, I've bypassed the pre-flight check 
checks. Get aboard. Oh shit, we're in the ship already. Hot damn. That was speedy. Speedy as all hell. Okay, we're leaving Cthulhu behind. Man, they really did fuck up this city. My graduation ceremony is ruined. I didn't even get to dab on stage. Starbound. Absolutely. Starbound. Wonderful. We are bound for the stars, sir. Uh, it's quite apt. Okay, we are on our ship! And I think now is a good time to leave it here. So guys, thank you for watching this first episode of Starbound. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe down below to the checkpoint. And for more videos just like this and the next episode of Starbound, make sure you tune in for No Man's Sky, Starbound. we got all sorts of games going on here. Come along, check it out, have a good time, and uh, it will all be dandy. Okay, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Starbound.